Hello, gentle viewers. This is Vindy, and welcoming you back to Out of the Park Baseball with the Pittsburgh Pirates. It is 2024, and we haven't made the playoffs yet. And we may not make the playoffs this year either. But I think we're getting closer. Um, I don't need my personal info. Give me my prospects, you miscreant. There we go. Uh, we've got our opening day roster set up. Um, I'm still not totally sold on Leover Piguero, but like I said, until Noah Smith is ready to play, I don't see any point in rushing him out of the lineup. Uh, but I think Noah Smith's time is coming, and it's coming quite quickly. Uh, Eddie Yeen was a pretty darn good reliever for us last season. We're going to try him out as a starter. Same thing with Jacob Wallace. Uh, we're giving Quinn Priester a chance. And I know that he hasn't been dominant in the past, but to be honest, I'm frankly not willing to give up on him until he's got at least 150 innings or so to prove that I can't, that he's not very good. And he's still so young that I don't want to give up on him too quickly. So we're going to see what happens with him this season. Um, I think we are ready to go. And remember, the NL East wasn't exactly like the best division last year. We definitely have a chance. Oh, good. Uh, we've got ourselves a Tucker Davidson. To be our lefty specialist, and we'll get a few middle relief innings out of him too. All right, on we go. Uh, Mr. Brew Baker here cleared waivers. I can't say that's too surprising. And Quinn Priester's hurt already. Oh, he, he's he's just gonna miss one start. But we did lose Cabrian Hayes for five weeks, and this is something that's going to cause us some pretty serious issues. I mean, I guess Miguel Vargas is gonna get a chance to show what he can do. Because I know he's I know he's like not a great third baseman, but I really don't have another choice. So yeah, Miguel Vargas, welcome to the big leagues. Uh, I'm I'm gonna throw you right in the deep end, and we'll either sink or swim based on you. Probably sink, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm glad that I can have Pedro Avila back, but I'm not sure that I'm that interested in him anymore. I actually meant to just shop him around. All players, but prospects only, please. All right. Um, Luis Vasquez is a decent fielder who can't hit. <clears throat> but Jose Miranda is just better. Like, he plays three different positions, and he does okay at all of them. And he is a decent enough hitter that if he can make second or third work, he'll be a good contributor. I'm going to go ahead and pick Mr. Miranda here. Uh, you're sad about this. So 
So it looks like he's not far from liking this deal. Uh, give me a seventh round pick. I don't feel like waiting, though. I'm just going to make this trade. It's... it's Admittedly, it's it's kind of a strength for strength kind of thing. But I'm happy to let you develop in AAA. And Swaggerty took his new deal. That's excellent. Oh, the Nationals want to give me... Two minor leaguers for a minor leaguer. I mean, I don't necessarily dislike this deal. And I do like Jose Sanchez. Would you give me, say... Our old pal Diego Cartaya, I'm pretty sure you won't, even if I asked for him. Yeah, you don't really love this deal. And I don't know that I want to trade him just for one player. Uh, give me Edward here. Just because he's got a pretty decent power back. And I'm not giving up much. I am basically giving up a reliever who's never going to make the majors for us. And David Bednar. And yeah, he's got a tiny bit of upside to him. But I just, I don't think he's going to be an important part of this team. What? I said to next month. It's still April. Uh, Mitch Keller got better. Quinn Priester improved a tiny bit. <clears throat> Hudson Head got a tiny bit better, but he honestly looks a good deal worse in a lot of ways. But Noah Smith keeps getting better. Which is very good news. No, I don't need a left fielder. I mean, let's just face facts. We're probably going to be a doormat until Cabrian Hayes is healthy again. And even then, it's not a guarantee. Um, Miguel Vargas had a very rough intro to the majors, but you had to fill some pretty big shoes. So I'm not, I'm not going to hold that against you, amigo. You do your thing here and here. How are we doing as a group? Pretty bad. Uh, I gotta say, pretty much nobody is hitting like they should be. We need this to stop, please. Stop, stop hitting like garbage. Is the issue the freaking hitting coach? I might have to get rid of him. Because uh, he's clearly not getting the job done. Oh, you work with... You work good with contact hitters. I've got a few like that, but not very many.
God damn it, game, really? All right, fine. Uh, we do need a new starting pitcher. Who the hell is Andy Maldonado? Where did you come from? Like, all of a sudden, you look like a megastar. If I make you a starter, what's your rating? You're still rated very, very highly. Like, where did you come from? I mean, yeah, I'm going to give you a shot, dude. You're a high upside starter. What do I have to lose? I don't have very many of those. I don't really care, but thank you. Um, you would give me Jorge Polanco, but I don't need a second baseman right now. A lot of people want Grant Coke. I think I'll sit on him for right now, just in case, but that's that's fascinating to me. That, uh... Yeah, we're getting, we're getting demolished by pretty much everyone we face. Hmm. I am not happy, friends. Yeah, Andy Maldonado is just amazing now. He added another pitch to his repertoire and picked up on his heat. Like, holy shit, bro. That's why you put the big bucks into player development, I guess. I mean, Peguero getting better at shortstop is not terrible, but... Andy Rodriguez got a little bit worse. Mm. Braxton Ashcraft just sounds like such a douchey name. I'm like, yes, I'm Braxton Ashcraft of the Cape Cod Ashcrafts. I don't think so, man. I don't like that. Um, all right. Mitch Keller is ready to come back. A lot of his contact is gone. Or his ability to throw for control is gone. But he's having such a good season. Uh, who among the rotation really needs to go back to the minors? Basically, it could be anyone and no one, really. I guess Cody Bolton. And then uh, Keller gets called up. Oh, Bolton wasn't even a starter? I guess he wasn't. I definitely want Maldonado starting. So I'm going to go ahead and let him pitch in place of Wallace. You can shift to being long relief emergency starter. Okay, and on we go. Uh, no, thank you. He is definitely on the untouchable list for right now. Especially if Mika Rodolfo can't start hitting. 
Like, I'm having deep issues with two players I was counting on. Actually, there's only two people hitting right now. Cabrian Hayes and Hudson Head. And Stephen Alameas, which is kind of weird. Um, this is the issue with a player like Micah Rodolfo, right? If he hits for any kind of contact, he's an incredible hitter. If he doesn't, he's not. Um, so that's an issue. But really, I feel like she's up and down the lineup. And I gotta be honest with you, I think I have to give up on Michael Toglia. I'm not seeing enough from him to justify the cost of someone who hits less than 200. Um... Hitting for contact is just not a skill that we have in abundance. Great, and a lot of Noah Smith's sheen is just vanished for no reason. I mean, not no reason, but he's like, he randomly just seems like he's not as good. Hmm. Alright, let's continue for now, I guess. I think we're just in this weird situation where too much has to break right for us to be competitive. And that may just be a permanent issue with us. There's not a bunch of ways that we can quickly improve when we don't have a lot of money to spend. I mean, we're just not hitting as a team. So the, the quick and dirty solution is to fire the hitting coach. Because clearly he's not doing his job. But this is this is not a good look for us, and it might honestly get me fired. Because we're just getting outscored just so damn often because the lineup can't put up runs. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. That's the other Maldonado. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to give you that much. Quinn Priester is actually really capitalizing on his talent, which I didn't expect. This is just, frankly, a weird season from top to bottom, and I'm not sure what to make of most of it. Uh, Noah Smith is unlocking his true potential defensively, even if his, contact ability, his potential contact has slipped a bit. He's hitting quite well in double-A. I think we're going to promote him. To triple A. What about Blaze Jordan here? All he's done is hit for power in the minors. I'm going to promote you too. Yeah, we have a lot of players who maybe have some power hitting talent, but so many of them can hit for contact to get on base regularly that it's actually killing the entire team. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with most of you right now. I mean, I don't want to trade Adolfo now when he basically has no value. But all he's doing is striking out. 
And when he's not also hitting 30 homers, the strikeout totals are a really big problem. But I mean, Zhigba actually has a little bit of upside, which I can't say about Adolfo. I don't want to waive him because then I'll get nothing for him. But maybe this is just what has to happen right now. Or should even let Tiso or Nealis play in the bigs. But here, here's the big thing, right? It's like Adolfo is going to help us win the World Series or cost us the World Series. We're a little bit too green as a team. And so I'm not super motivated to trade him right now, especially when his value is so low. So I think we go ahead and just ride out the string a little bit longer. Maybe. Damn, Zion Rose hit three homers in one game. Nice. Hudson Head is Rookie of the Month. All right. I can afford to get the very best international amateur. The question is, is there one that's worth the money? There just isn't. You're all kind of garbage. I'm not going to spend any money on you jerks. I'm going to save my cash and try to get people that slip in the first round because no one wants to pay them. He is worried. He wants me to promote some people. Yada, yada, yada. We have the number four prospect in the majors, thanks to Maldonado. Oh, Brubaker's out for the season. All right. You're another one that's like come out of nowhere all of a sudden. Nice. Pagero, I'm running out of reasons to keep you on the Major League roster. I really, truly am. You're supposed to be good at hitting, and you're not that, and you're a garbage tier fielder. Um, all right, so we're going to go front office, personnel, Ruben Gote isn't super happy, he probably wants too big a raise, Izquierdo, Bizardo. And that guy. Oh, uh, Nieva. Definitely an extension for you. Now, I am going to keep Ray King. I think Ray King has proven he can deal with our pitchers pretty effectively. Like... It's not our pitching staff that's holding us back. And he's got really good relations with our youngest and best pitchers. So I think you, Mr. King, have earned a raise. Uh, you gone at the end of the season, bro. And I will find someone else to do your job for you. Hopefully better. Like, you're supposed to be great at development and great at hitting, but you haven't been great at either one of them. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. 
Okay, this seriously needs to stop fucking happening. The last thing that we can afford as the pirates is for Hayes to be garbage. Like, there is just so much riding on him. And yes, I know Vargas didn't hit that well in high A the first time, but he tore it up in triple A, so maybe you figured some shit out. I am not okay with the constant injuries. I mean, I'm not as bothered by losing Castro because I've got other backup second basemen. Like, layer. Oh, you're right. It is full, isn't it? I get rid of Bay. Or call him up, one of the two. You know what? Let's let's promote him to Pittsburgh. He's just a backup. I'm not hugely worried by what he does or doesn't do. All right. Nope. Oh boy, please continue to injure my infielders. That's exactly what we need. Um... I guess I call up Miranda just because I just need someone to play the position. Uh, can any of you play third base in a way that is not utter garbage? Miranda, I guess. Like, I know this isn't helping our team any, but I also can't do anything about it. And I do think one thing that we're going to do is I think we're going to go ahead and trade. I think we're going to go ahead and promote Noah Smith. I mean, this is an embarrassment of an, of an offense right now. Like, everyone is hitting, like, utter garbage. Everyone. Swaggerty's not getting on base. Uh, Mick or Adolfo can't hit at all. Michael Toglia is at least closer to, to replacement level. Hudson Ed is literally the only decent hitter on the team. Other than Priester, and it doesn't matter because Priester is hurt. Or other than... Um, Hayes, and he's hurt. Uh, where are we drafting? Is he, we're picking ninth overall. This is not a terrible draft you're picking ninth overall. There's enough high to medium caliber players that I think will get somebody worth worth taking I believe alright so let's start by looking at Alex Aguilar Aguilar's got a lot going for him he's a ground ball pitcher he already has excellent movement he could potentially have pretty good stuff and pretty doggone good control. Four-pitch matchup. A good hard thrower, even though he is a ground ball pitcher. Marcelo Mayer, Mayer is a decent all-around hitting shortstop with a decent glove. 
But I'm... He's already 21, and Noah Smith is what, like 22? Yeah, he's also 21. I'm not going to draft a shortstop. Mm, no. I'm just kind of looking for reasons not to just take Aguilar. And I'm really struggling with a reason not to take him. I certainly need pitching. I certainly do need pitching. And what do I care about $5.5 million? Let's do it. I think that was the right call. If you fall to the third round, I'll take you. Masao Shillicut. He's a good catcher with good plate discipline. And he's young enough that he could really turn out to be just about anything. Uh, uh. Or Tyree Reed. I like you because you play three offensive positions very effectively. And I know you've never been a great hitter in college, but there's a chance I can develop you. I think I'll take Tyree Reed. And I'm going to hope that Nadolian falls to the third round, which he didn't. That's, that's fair. It's actually a very deep draft. All right. I need contact potential. Jeff Sullivan. Ah, you would be a terrible defensive player wherever you played. I'll just take Bobby Keefe, and then we can put him somewhere else as we need to. And then I will take Jeff Sullivan here in the fourth round and maybe see what he can accomplish. Brandon Anderson plays three positions pretty effectively. I will, I will take that. I hate that I'm basically drafting for utility, guys, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I'm just going to let my scouting director pick the rest of this. I There's just not enough here to really... It's a very deep draft, but... And I do think we got a good first round pick. I'm pretty happy about Aguilar. And I also think Tyree Reed is a chance to be quite useful. I know we're not drafting stars. And this is a game where we, we rehash that old chestnut. Would you rather have a toolsy scout or an ability scout? And I really can't say yet because I haven't seen anything, anyone that he's recommended that I draft. I'll tell you what we're going to do, though. If... Piguero doesn't pick shit up in a hurry. Uh, he's probably out the door. And I probably just turn the game over, turn shortstop over to Noah Smith. 
Like, I'm already in the path to losing over 100 games. I can lose over 100 games with or without him. Uh, Priester made his, made the all-star team. Good for him. And literally nobody else did. Which is completely understandable. Uh, prospects game. I hope I've got a few more pits here. Jose Sanchez, Noah Smith. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to the trading deadline, and I'm going to see if I can get a contender to take Pagero off my hands. And then I'm just going to let Noah Smith play, and he'll figure it out or he won't. And there's nothing I can do about that. Yes, we would be worse off. Huh. Well, that's something he can he can put in his trophy case. Holy shit, we're starting to hit randomly. I didn't expect that. Maybe once again, threats work. Um. Alright, so before we go any farther. Alright, friends. We're trading Pagero. Unless Noah Smith is hurt. And of course he's out for two weeks. I don't care. No, I do care. No, I don't care. No, I do care. Hmm. Noah Smith has chosen a singularly terrible time to get injured. And yes, I know he literally didn't pick to be injured right now. That's not the point. The point is... I mean, hell, Levon Soto is a more polished hitter at this point than Pagero. Pagero is a little bit better playing shortstop, though. Maybe I just keep him and then call up Noah Smith when rosters expand. My entire team got worse at hitting. Which is extremely yikes. On the flip side, Quinn Priester is an all-star. I didn't see that coming. Andy Maldonado probably needs to go back to AAA for a while. But I just want to just rack up innings at this point. I don't even care if he pitches badly. I just want him to get innings. Uh, but maybe it's better for him to do that in AAA so his confidence isn't trashed. I could, You know what? We'll do that. I don't want to rack... A possible amazing thing here. 
I'm going to let uh, Cody Bolton be a starter. Uh, what else do we want to do with this team? Who do we trade and what do we get for them? Um, I don't know. I'm going to trade Luke and Baker. I don't see him ever coming back to the majors for us. Like, I know Toglia hasn't been great. But Baker had multiple chances to prove himself on the major league level, and he never did it. And he's also not hitting that well in the minors either. On the flip side, trading Toglia probably gets me a better return. Man, I have a bunch of players who don't really fit anywhere. If that's not the story of the Pitcher Pirates, I don't know what is. I'm going to trade Adolfo. And this is for, for two main reasons. One, I think Jigba deserves a chance to play. Two, this version of Adolfo is not worth $2 million in arbitration. He just isn't. Um, and even if this is the worst possible version of him, I still think this is a trade that has to be made. I can't even get, like, some 50s. Here we go. Freddy Valdez is a good all-around hitter who's still very raw, of course. If Daniel Susak wasn't a catcher, he wouldn't be rated so highly. Westberg is bleh. I mean, honestly, Valdez probably offers us the most upside, but he's also the rawest of the choices. And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay to have a player that just takes a while to get going. All right, I would like him and Borhofren, if you are amenable. New York Mets. Uh, nope. I'm just going to pull this deal right here. I think it's smart. And then, Jigba, this is your chance to shine in the majors. Because I'm not going to touch you. You're going to play each and every day, and you're going to show us what you can handle. Unless you've got... No, you're equally bad, no matter what. Equally bad at, hit, bad at hitting for contact. Either way. Anyone else I want to trade? Uh, is there anyone whose contract is about up? I'm going to let Brew Baker walk. I'm going to let Singer walk. Most of these guys ain't proved shit, so I'm not going to I'm not going to waste my time even offering them an extension. 
A guy like Alameus makes a lot of sense to give an extension to. Like, he could very well win another gold glove this season, and bare minimum, he's a very useful contributor with the bat. Uh, if you would like a contract extension of several years, I would take it. No? Okay. Why do I have no money for next year? I don't know. I know Priester would want like a mint. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with this, to be honest with you. I don't know why it's saying that my salary is going to increase by $10 million. Like, yeah, Swaggerty's salary goes up. Oh, Hayes and Keller both go up, too. We might have to release Edwin Diaz, maybe. Why release him? Why not trade him? Like, Edwin Diaz is an asset, right? Like, a contender would definitely want him. And I've got a ready-made replacement sitting here in Will Klein. Let's trade him. Really? What if I look at regulars? I am not getting any offers at all. Damn. Is he really that undesirable? I don't know, bros. I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't really have anyone that's obvious for me to trade. I mean, I guess I could trade Aaron Savali and get Adam Hill and promote him or even put Maldonado back in the majors. But I kind of want him to just develop for a bit. What did I give up for him? I don't know why I never check the history log. I gave him Brian Reynolds, who has actually been decent for them. I've kind of already lost this trade. So I'm wondering if it makes sense to move Savali so I can save some cash. Maybe not. Let me at least kick the tires and see if I get decent offers. I'm getting a lot of offers, actually. I'll be damned. All right, it's mostly relief pitchers.
I mean, trading for like Jackson Kovar is actually kind of tempting. He'll be cheaper. He's younger. And he's better. Like, would they throw in anyone else? Doubtful. Oh. He's actually performed at a fairly high level. The issue is our defense. And where is the defense failing, you ask? It's probably going to be Pagero. Incredibly, it's not. Incredibly, it's not. How are we ranked in defense? We're ranked 12th. Defensive efficiency is very bad. Is it just Grant Coke? Is he that bad a defensive catcher? I'm going to trade Coke. I'm only going to look for prospects, and I'm going to call up Andy Rodriguez if we can trade him. I had no idea he was that bad defensively. He's actually making the team worse. Luis Mises is a decent power hitter. I've got about a thousand people like him in my system now. Rafael Feliz is a decent reliever. I've got even more of those in my system. I'll take Miasis. Like, I doubt you'd give me a great prospect, right? That's probably stupid to assume that you might. Like, you wouldn't give me Christian Hernandez. Wait, you're joking, right? No, I don't think it's worth Carson Montgomery, especially since Hernandez is still very, very raw. And it's going to be a while before he can, he can handle stuff. But I wouldn't mind pushing a little, a few more chips in to get a player of his caliber. What if I offered you? I'm not going to give you Rose, Klein, or Smith. I'll give you Venasco. 
Okay, your list is getting longer. What if I added Santiago Flores? Not budging. Okay, so, so far, no one here has budged the needle. Okay, I don't want to give up a second round draft pick for him. All right. I really like this deal. I can let Hernandez uh, grow in the high minors and call him up when he's ready. Um, probably to play second base. And if he doesn't work out, I haven't given up very much. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the trigger here. I'm going to put you on the 40 man and you are instantly going to double A. Like you're not ready for the majors yet, but you're close. All right, I'm going to call up Andy Rodriguez. And you're going to back up for Logan Brown the rest of the season with an eye to maybe promoting you to being the main catcher here um, if you do well. That should help with the defense a little bit. Other than that, I don't know what else we can do other than wait for Noah Smith to get healthy and see how he handles uh, things. Eddie Yeen improved. Mitch Keller improved. Aaron Savali got a tiny bit worse. Miguel Vargas got better. Andy Maldonado is getting better. He just needs some more time to season a bit, I think. I completely forgot about Nick Gonzalez. Oof. With a ruptured tendon, I'm not surprised. All right, let's go up to roster expansion. Uh, delightful. Head right back to Triple A, please. Um, Jose Miranda, you've been hitting okay, but I just want you to go back to the minors because Miguel Vargas is actually a better player than you. Oh, right. Uh, there you go. And there you go.
that's whatever. All right, we get the big man back. Um, Vargas, I'm going to send you back to AAA, and then Hayes. You are back where you belong. Oops. Ah, uh, there you go. All right. Uh, boop. And a boop. I know I should probably move Hudson Head up in the lineup. I just can't be bothered right now because I don't think it would make a big difference anyway, even if we did. Um... Wolf. If we'd had a good series against the Reds there, we might have actually made up some ground in the playoff race. That's what's hilarious, right? We're clearly in the worst division in the majors, and the Reds are barely above 500. Uh -huh. Andy Rodriguez got better. Logan Brown got better. Hudson Head is looking fantastic. Mr. Jigba here is taking to the majors like a duck to water. Noah Smith got better at pretty much everything. Nice. All right, it's roster expansion time. Piguero. Your late attempts to hit 266. Do I want to start the clock on Noah Smith? That's my issue. Fuck. Noah, I'm going to give you a chance to start next season. I don't even want to waste uh, a roster spot. I don't want to start your clock already. I hope you can forgive me. Uh, let's go ahead and call up uh, somebody. Let's do Maldonado, and we're going to switch to a six-man rotation for the rest of the season. Let Maldonado get some low-pressure reps. Um, and then... Uh, I will be taking control of his development, thank you. And if I say I want the man in double-A, he goes to double-A. Um... I sure do have a lot of average players. I've also got some really damn good ones, but they're also quite raw and will need a lot of seasoning. Looks like I'm going to eat them. Oh my word, Zion, Zion Rose is eating a ball. Uh, you're going to jump right to double A. 
Like that was not my intention, but you're you're clearly have figured out how to hit minor league pitching. And I'm going to promote you until you can't handle it anymore. Um Noah Smith, did you have to be 50 overall? Did you really have to? I want to give Miguel Vargas some at-bats, so I'm going to call him up. But it's honestly mostly going to be um, see if, if he can serve well as a pinch hitter and things like that. All right. Up to the draft pick deadline. I know my owner would love nothing more than for me to play Noah Smith, but I, I can't start his service time clock yet. I can't waste it. Not on a team like this, where we're not really going anywhere anyway. I'm hoping Peguero can really show out the rest of this season so I can trade him in the offseason. Because I think it's time to call up Noah Smith. I think it was probably time this season. And you know what? If we'd had a better season, I would probably have done it. If it looks like it might have mattered, I might have called up Noah Smith. But I'm already eliminated from playoff contention. Is getting relatively close to 500 worth it? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Player development. Eddie Yeen is a little better. Andy Maldonado is now throwing even harder. Holy shit. Uh, what a find he's turned out to be. Oh, did they say anything about Noah Smith? They did not. Okay. That's fine. You are something else, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I'm going to credit my amazing development team. Because you just went from, I'm pretty decent, to I'm incredible. Yeah, well, I wasn't with the postseason anyway. So, whatevs. I didn't lose 100 games. I would like that noted for the record. Uh, we'll just see who wins the World Series here. No Yankees made it either, so that's almost as good as making it for ourselves. Dodgers didn't make it either. Oh, yes, they did. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm joking. I know you think that Nolan Meadows retiring is important enough for you to stop things, but it really isn't. That looks like a damn good series between the Dodgers and the Padres. Ooh, dang. Eat it, Dodgers.
Oh, it's the Braves and the Mariners. Up. Oh, ooh, what a thrilling seven game series. That looks good. Congratulations, Braves. Uh, I'd like to say we'll maybe join you one day, but you know. All right, Edwin Diaz. A nope. All right, so I want you to play 500, get better at right field. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty reasonable. Where are we picking in the draft this this coming season? Sixth. All right, that's pretty good. Oh, no, wait, no, it's not. Is it? Yes, I am picking sixth. Okay. All right. So what actually went well for us this season? Because sure as shit, not a lot did. This was a pretty bad season by almost any measure. Leover Pagera was the third best player on the team. And he even got better at defense. So, yikes. Uh, Hudson Head was a decent player. Jigba did okay. Brown is not a starting catcher. I think we know that by now. I think he's merely a very talented backup. And so I think we're going to let Andy Rodriguez start next season. Toglia is hot garbage. Like, I don't know what else to say. You were barely above replacement level. I need stars. I need someone to play extremely well and I, I mostly just don't have that I mostly have a few players who are kind of okay the pitching This was kind of a surprising strength for us. I certainly did not expect it. Uh, Yeen had a great season as a starter for the first time in his career. He'd never started before in the majors. He turns out a pretty good season. Not perfect, but pretty doggone good. Quinn Priester. I told him you had one more season to show me that you could stick in the majors. He can stick in the majors, my friends. Um, yeah, if he's striking out almost 10 people in inning as a starter, he's pretty solid. Mitch Keller, he's probably a little bit overpaid for his actual role. Like, he's not an ace. He's a very good number two. But he does the stuff that he needs to do. And maybe with a great shortstop behind him like Noah Smith, things will get better. Aaron Savali was fine. Uh, that's the nicest thing I can say about him. And the bullpen mostly did a pretty solid job. Cody Bolton was, was pretty bad, actually. Um, but, you know, the rest of this worked out okay. Maldonado only started 17 games, just under half of what Savali did, and yet was almost as good. 
Um, we have a potentially amazing rotation. Which I did not expect. I did not expect that they'd be this advanced this quickly. And FIP shows you there's actually a better pitching staff than it looks like. Um, probably because Swaggerty is not a very good center fielder, but also just because we need more, uh, we need some offense to get him some run support. With the number six bullpen in the majors, the number nine starters, it's just the lineup is dog shit. Um, especially when Cabrian Hayes misses half the season. So... We've got to upgrade the offense in the offseason. I think we have to trade Piguero. Because unfortunately for Mr. Piguero, he's not very good at playing other positions. Um, Alameas had a great year at second base. I could probably think about replacing him. Christian Hernandez had a pretty good year at double A. But I think next season, we're going to give at least one kid a shot at Noah Smith. We're going to call up Will Klein, and he's going to take over an important role in the bullpen. Um... I don't see how Blaze Jordan could be all that much worse than Toglia. Right? But maybe it's for the best that we let him keep developing. Um, I'll tell you what I might do. I might pick up a one-year stopgap. Um, like, Toglia does some things quite well. I don't want to make it sound like he's the worst player in Major League history because he's not. But he's a very specific kind of player. Where if he's not consistently hitting it out of the park, he's probably a drag on a team. And maybe that's just where he is. Maybe I just need to accept what he can do and let him play and then worry about bumping up Blaze Jordan next season. Because Jordan could certainly benefit, I think, from another, uh, like a full year in AAA, or at least a half year. And then we call him up closer to the All-Star break. Um, there is talent in this Major League system. It's just a question of drawing that talent out and getting it to the big leagues where it can truly succeed. Um, I'm strongly tempted just to make Jacob Wallace one of the best damn relievers in the big leagues. I know he's angry because he wants to be a starter. Oh, there's slackers and selfish players. Ooh. I wonder. Really? If Ji Huan Bay is not worth keeping, like, you're not good enough, dude. I'll trade you in a heartbeat. All right, you want a veteran presence? Okay. We can try to sign somebody in the offseason. I mean, we just really don't have very much money. And that does not look like it's going to get any better. I probably need to make some very tough choices about people in the non-tender. Just so that we can have some room to add some payroll. Um, I can't get anyone to do anything stupid, can I? Like, give me anything for Edwin Diaz. Nah, that's fair. That's fair.
Yeah, short of getting a bigger payroll, I don't even know if I can add a decent veteran or two to this team. We'll have to see. Uh, we will have to see. Because right now, I don't have jack shit to spend in free agency. So, uh... All right, well, this has certainly proven to be a challenge, hasn't it? Uh, we were expecting this to be difficult, and it is so far. It is definitely difficult. Um, and we're making some progress, maybe. But the reality is we need stars, not journeymen. And right now we're a team of journeymen. Even my alleged star, Cabrian Hayes, is not playing at star level, which is not his fault. Uh, he got injured. I think if he'd been healthy, we would have had another excellent season from him. Um, and maybe just need to find like some generic free agent and sign him and do that. I don't know. But what I do know is we need to start saving some money somewhere. Do I trade Swaggerty? Swaggerty would feel would free up an awful lot of payroll. And it's like, I know that Solomon McGuire is not a great center fielder. I know that. But he might be. I mean, Swaggerty is better than he is. But, hmm. We may need to get when the getting's good, uh, as far as Swaggerty is concerned. I'll have a think about that in the off season here. Like I'm asking a lot out of Noah Smith. A lot. And and he's hit in the minors, he's hit 270 to 280 with decent on base percentages, quite a bit of speed, and a reasonable amount of power. That's all to the good. It all proves that he can that he can hang and that he can probably do okay in the big leagues. Yeah. Um. I have an awful lot of contact level hitting coaches. He ain't great at development. I could promote him. Is there an excellent, amazing hitting coach? Somebody who is a legendary teacher at hitting, who's also great at who's also great at development. I think I'd rather take a guy like like Luke Allen.
Because he's an outstanding at teaching hitting, and he's excellent at development and mechanics. I'd love to use Centena. I would. But I have an issue with him, which is namely the fact that a lot of my players won't get along with him because he's temperamental. Then and so was Luke Allen. But at least it looks like he'd get along well with the hitters. Mark McGuire? I think we're gonna hire Luke Allen. I'm gonna I'm gonna poach him and try to make him one of the best hitting coaches in the league. All right, um, so we've got that offer pending. What else can we do here? Not much. So I'm going to go and end this episode here. I hope you are all enjoying. Uh, it's going to take a while before we see sustained success, I think. But I still have the sense because of how bad the NL Central is that we're not far off from making the playoffs. And I know that sounds crazy. I know that sounds absolutely mental. The Cardinals won the division with 82 wins. Like, they just barely made the playoffs. All I've got to do is improve by... conservatively... 15 wins. I think if we can if we can finish the year at 85 and 83 sorry, that's not 162 games. What would that be? 85 and 77. I think we have a chance to win the division. Um, My Pythagorean record suggests we should have been about two games better than we were. I'm just saying. But yeah, I think if we can get... First of all, we need to get better across the board. That is job one. Everyone needs to turn in a better performance than they did this season. Holy shit, is Alex Aguilar picking up pitching awfully fast? Damn. Damn. All right. Because um, we've got a lot of talent on the mound. Almost a shocking amount of talent. Hell, maybe we trade Mitch Keller. I don't know. Because uh, these guys are going to get awful expensive awful fast. Um, guys like... Priester and Yeen and Maldonado. We'll figure something out with them. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode, though. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, this is a bit of Indian, and I bid you good day.